Hello tutorial number two. In this tutorial, I'm going to give you a quick start with Katia. We're going to create the first 2D sketch and 3D sketch and use the mouse and manipulate your part. So first go to start. Mechanical design as we know in the workbenches from the previous tutorial and part design. This is the first workbench for beginners or the most or for the starting of sketching and here you can give it a name first part okay and now we are in this workbench and you can notice the tool set here which are for the part design tools so now we have the interface we already changed the background color we can do it from tools options and here from display and visualization you can change the color if you want okay so now we have this color if you notice on the part interface you have the part tree first part and you have three different planes where you can start your sketch to start your sketch choose the plane you want or hover over it here and click sketch so now we are in the sketch menu i going to simply draw very quick rectangle in the later tutorial I'm to give you detailed explanation about the tools here but now let's make this rectangle when you are finished you can exit workbench from here and now let's extrude it it's called pad in Katia and just simply press ok and now I'm going to show you how to use the mouse. You have three main buttons in your mouse. Right click the middle wheel and right click. To zoom in and out, click on the middle wheel and right click once. You have this arrow showing and then you can move your mouse up and down so you can zoom in and out. To rotate, just keep clicking on middle mouse middle wheel of the mouse and keep clicking on the right click so you can be able to rotate your part and to move your part just click on your part and the middle wheel keep holding it then you can rotate your part move your part even you have another set to manipulate your part from the compass here on the top if you choose this face so you can move your part on that face direction if you choose this face or this edge circle edge so you can rotate your part in that direction if you choose that can rotate in that direction here you can rotate your whole part if you choose this edge and so on this is a very helpful tool the compass so i hope this tutorial was useful and thanks for watching.